Yo what's up guys Karan plays here and welcome back to the 14th episode of the Borussia Dortmund career mode series Usually we start off with the player of the episode vote but as you all know last episode we were just dreadful and well it is what it is guys we've got to move on and get that out of our heads because our next match is really really important i cannot stress how important that is for us because well that could potentially be the title decider we face bayern munich yet again I know guys another dog classico our fourth one of the series and well I'm hoping for another dub our record against them stands at one win one draw and one loss we've got to make it two wins because well if you know go ahead and just pick up a draw look at the table guys we are 6 points behind them and well I don't think we can cover it up if you know don't get it down to 3 points 6 games remaining after this one we really really have to win this one Erling Braut Haaland is back that's a great positive for us So yeah, we've got to use our best players and get that dub. Before that though, I'd ask you all where should I be sending my new scout? Let's go ahead and get that done before heading into our first match of this episode. As you all will recall, I actually signed Christian Bakker and you all told me to actually send him to Netherlands and you know what? I will send him to Netherlands because well, we are managing them and they do have some good young talent. You all didn't tell me which type of player should I be looking for, so I'm just going to keep it at any 9 months. Let's go ahead and hopefully he can also get us some good players like Sandro Wagner. So well we all know our first match of this episode is against Bayern Munich. After that we do face some easy teams. I mean Paderborn, I think they're last in the table. Hertha then the 10th spot so we might have to play this one. We have a cup game against Köln and obviously we end off this episode with another Bundesliga match this time against Düsseldorf and I guess we're going to be simulating that one too because I'm pretty sure they're not in the top 10, but actually, you know what? I'm actually curious to see where it all go wrong for us. I mean, just look at this: Berlin dub, Bayern Munich dub, Bayer Leverkusen dub, Frankfurt dub, Bremen dub, Freiburg also dub. Then, well, before that Freiburg game, this happened, and after that, just look at it, man. Our record just seemed to plummet. Draw against Wolfsburg. Okay, yeah, a win against Schalke because we simulated that one, but. Monchin lad back. I don't even know what turn to use. I mean, they basically violated us and after that another draw against Man City. Now here we are guys, facing Bayern Munich in another really really tough match. I've already emphasized on how big this game is for our season. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lineup that we're going to be fielding against them. You know what? Before this game, we haven't done this in a long time. I'm going to go ahead and attend the press conference. Are you prepared for the next match? Obviously against Bayern Munich. I'm going to say we are ready. We're mentally ready. We know what we are capable of. We have let it slip in the last few matches, but now we're gonna get that dub. Do you still believe you can win the title? I said it in the last few episodes. Also, we'll fight till the end. We're gonna give it our all. Hopefully, the game against Bayern Munich can be an indication of how hungry my players are. Will you win this time? I mean, I obviously hope we win this time, but these questions—they're just getting too repetitive. We'll try to do our best, I guess. That is it for this press conference. Let's now go ahead and take a look at our team. Here it is guys. This is the starting eleven that I'm going to be using in basically the most important game of our season against Bayern Munich. I do believe this is a bit premature to, you know, bring Haaland back into the side, but we know what he's capable of. Isaac also has been on fire, but I don't know, man. I just feel Haaland can offer us something more. Even if he doesn't, we still do have Isaac on the bench. Let's hope for the best and this is lineup that we're taking to the signal in our park. Haaland and Richarlison up top, Royce in that cam role. Sané and Hakimi out wide, Torreira and Delaney are CDMs. So Yunchu Hummels and Roman Yoli are back three and in goal Roman Burki. I know a lot of you all would be questioning why am I playing Sané on the right and Hakimi on the left? I don't know man, I just prefer inverted wingers. We're going to be going with this even though recently Hakimi has been actually our best winger. I don't know why I sub him off. This game if he performs well, he won't be subbed off. Sané will go to the bench if he's not performing well because as I said it a million times already, this is a must win match. I don't know about you guys. No, actually I'm pretty sure y'all are also very excited for this match. Another Der Klassiker. We know this is the biggest game in German football. Bayern Munich versus Borussia Dortmund. We do have the upper hand because recently we have beaten them which was in the DFB Pokal and obviously we are playing this one at home. All things have lined up for us perfectly to you know get the dub here. Let's go ahead and take a look at their starting eleven. Bayern Munich here, rocking their usual four-three-three. Basically the same team that we have faced every single time we played them. Perisic, Lewandowski, and Thomas Müller up top. Thiago Kimmich and Goretzka their midfielders. Niklas Süle, Gabriel Pulisic, Lucas Hernandez, and Benjamin Pavard making the back four and in goal Manuel Neuer. If you all would have asked me this question, that which player out of these you fear the most? 
any time. I mean, one year back, two years back, at the start of the Chelsea series, at the start of the Borussia Dortmund series, I would have said Robert Lewandowski. But as you all have seen in this series, man, Ivan Perisic, even though they've signed the likes of Rashford, they have Nabri on the bench. This guy against us, man, he's been unreal. He's the one I'm looking to stop and obviously looking to get the three points. Let's go ahead and get on with this game. Marco Royce on the ball. Plays this one to Sane. Great start to this game. Haaland getting dispossessed there, but still an encouraging start. Ah, oh, come on, no way. Torreira. Oh, great pass play into Haaland. Haaland finds Hakimi. This could be a chance for us. Brilliant turn from Hakimi. Playing this one to Haaland. Couldn't find him. Great interception. And you know what? That was another brilliant move. I'll take it, man. Lucas Torreira has released Leroy Sane here. Sane can obviously skip past Nicholas Suler. Oh, beautifully done from Leroy Sane. Looking for Haaland here. Brilliantly done, Haaland. Plays this one to Hakimi. Hakimi 1v1. He's onside and he's actually found the back of the net. I can't believe this, man. Hakimi again getting a goal. Haaland with the assist. You just can't ride the stuff. Crucial, crucial, crucial goal. I can't emphasize the importance of this goal enough, man. Sane, after a long time, man. I don't even remember the last time he was involved in the goals. He is involved this time. Plays it to Haaland. Haaland finds Hakimi, who somehow was in an onside position. He makes it 1-0. He's on fire, man. I don't know how, but he managed to get the job done. His shooting is so low on FIFA, he shouldn't be able to get these many goals. But well, whatever works for us. Okay, now Bayern Munich on the attack. Goretzka finding the dangerous Ivan Perisic. Perisic tried to sweat it. He was in an offside position, so it wouldn't have mattered. But again, man, the danger man is getting stuck in and that is not a good sign. Well, that's the end of the first 45 minutes. Really, really great half for us. Created a lot of chances and thankfully we even took one. 1-0 one at the halftime break. I'll take this, man. A really even first half, as you all can see. We did end up dominating the first part of this half and they did end up dominating the latter part. But still, we are in the lead. That's all that matters. Let's go ahead and get the three points. Ah, Perisic has come off for Serge Nabi. That really is a positive for me. I mean... Nabri, I can take, but Perisic, I don't know, there's something about him. I just can't handle him. Nicolas Sula out wide here. What can he do here? Surely nothing. And well, nothing it is. Okay, the main thing that I have to focus in this half is not committing any defensive errors. As you all saw in the last episode, that is going to be really, really tough. Hopefully, I don't mess up. Royce finds Ashraf Hakimi. We might actually have a chance to make this 2-0 here. Hakimi now, looking for Richarlison, the ball is great. Unfortunately, right in the end, Gabriel Paulista stuck a foot. Otherwise, I was actually through to Richarlison. 61 minutes played, I'm not looking to risk anything here. I'm going to bring Julian Brandt on and I'm actually also going to bring Akanji on because I want some fit players on the pitch right now. I do not want to do anything to lose this lead. Let's go ahead and see out this victory. Akanji. Okay, this was what I did not want to do. Thomas Muller, Hummels, recovery challenge. Come on, keep your cool, man. I've just brought you on to maintain the lead, not to give them a goal back. Come on, Kanji, get your head back into the game. Great ball played towards Julian Brandt. Brandt can find Haaland and actually does so. Haaland is in the box. What can he do here now? Haaland, great turn, finds Richarlison. Goal scorer has turned into goal provider. Haaland with another assist. 2-0. No way back for Bayern Munich. Beautiful, beautiful move, man. Brandt played towards Haaland. Look at these ball rolls, man. Great way to take out the defender. Lays it off for a Charleston and it's now 2-0. 85 minutes played. It's only right that we give Isaac just the last 5 minutes. I mean, he's also been in form. Haaland has done his job. Let's get him on for the last 5. Rashford has come on for Bayern Munich. They're getting desperate here, but I'm not going to allow them to get a goal. Brandt up against Rashford. The ball is whipped in. Romagnoli clears the danger. Mistake from Bayern Munich and Richarlison has capitalized on it. He has a lot of space in front of him. Richarlison gets this past the defenders, plays it to Sane. No way has he missed it. Well, at least we get a corner out of it. But that was some awful play from Leroy Sane. He's redeemed himself, man. Richarlison makes it 3-0 with the very last header, I should say, of the ball. 3-0. We have actually humiliated Bayern Munich. Look at this, man. Sane... He missed a sitter. I'm not gonna lie, that was a sitter, but he's also made amends instantly. I mean, Richarlison was robbed off an assist there. He assists him, gets him a goal. 3 0. 
I'll take the scoreline any day of the week, man. Bayern Munich are gonna drop three points. You're gonna gain three points. Three points is what separates us now. Hopefully, we can get the title by the end of the season. That's it for this game, guys. Three points have been secured, and honestly, I do believe this was mainly down to the fact that I was really, really positive before this game, and well, evidently it helped. We ain't taking no breaks. Another Bundesliga match for us this time. It's against Paderborn away from home. Let's take a look at where they're on the table. As I said, guys, they're in the 18th position. We're gonna be simulating this match. This is an easy job for our second team. I mean, they've only picked up three points. If we don't get the dub, I will actually just delete this game. Here it is, guys. I'm using my second team for this one. Maximiano in goal, Baleri Sunju and Zagadu are centre backs. In midfield, we've got Dahoud with Silbaki and Hazard. In front of them, we've got Giovanni Reina and up top, Julian Brandt and Erling Braut Haaland. It's not a question of will we win, it's a question of by how much will we win. There it is guys, the answer, 3-0, I'll take it, another 3-0 win, Haaland actually getting a brace, Reina also getting a goal, perfect result, another clean sheet, I'm over the top man. Oh wow, before our next Bundesliga match, we've actually gotten a transfer offer from Matteo Mori, and you know what, we've basically not played him at all, I'm gonna accept this one, why not, Matteo Mori can go out on loan. This is gonna be a bit tricky because after this game we do have a DFB Pokal game right I guess 3 days after this match against FC Kohn that isn't gonna be the easiest of matches and it's obviously I guess the semi-finals of the competition so we can't take it lightly. We're gonna have to mix the squad up a bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lineup that we're gonna be fielding against them. This is the starting line that I'm going with. I haven't tried the pair of Haaland and Isaac up top. This is gonna give me an opportunity to do that. Brandt is gonna play this one because I feel we do need a bit of experienced players in that match against FC Cone. So yeah, I'm gonna rest Royce for this one. Dahoud also comes in place of Torreira and Akanji comes in for Sunchu. The rest of the lineup stays the same. Haaland Isaac up top, Brandt in that cam role, Sane and Hakimi out wide. Delaney and Dahoud are CDMs. Our back three consists of Roman Yoli, Hamels and Akanji. In goal, Roman Berkey. I'm gonna say it again guys, another important game because well, we are basically in the business end of the Bundesliga season now. Each and every game counts, we need to get the 3 points if we you know, want to stand a chance to beat Bayern Munich to the title. We need them to slip up and obviously, we need to gain as many points as possible. We're gonna be playing at home, so that shouldn't be a problem. Hmm, okay, the ball is played towards Halan and we might actually have a chance straight from kickoff. Hakimi is through here in on goal, crosses this one. Keeper gets a hand to it, the ball might fall to Isaac, it does so, he hits the post. Great start yet again, man. Oh wow, are you kidding me? Has that actually happened? If they score from this, thank God for Matt Samuels, man. Oh, that was Roman Yoli there, but yeah, the aids in this game is just unreal. How did that even happen? I mean, I pass it to my player and it actually rebounded off of him. Oh, come on, man. We have been split apart here by Hertha Berlin. Roman Burke, he is a god. He is a god, man. He's been goaded, for sure. Sane has done brilliantly there to skip past that player. Plays this one in towards Isaac. Isaac with the shot. Another post, man. I really can't take this. Okay, this isn't looking good. Yup, Piatek, we know he's a gun, man. He did score against us last time out too. Scores again here. I don't know what happened. We probably, you know, took our eyes off the ball and we've paid the price. There's no way we can take a draw here. We need to get two goals ASAP. Good move from Hota though, they did exploit us pretty well here. We just weren't ready for this one, were we? I mean, that still shouldn't have gone in, but Piatek is really, really good at finishing. He makes it 1-0. Well, that's it for the first half. We have been an abomination, that's all I can say for now. We really, really need to step our game up. We need to get the three points. Come on, get the ball back. No, 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 this is not happening. Piatek again, he's made it 2-0. Don't know what's happening, man. We're all complicating things. We cannot choke now. We really shouldn't choke now. I mean, that will just be heartbreaking. 60 minutes played. I didn't want to make any substitutions, but honestly, you know what? Hakimi hasn't performed at the level that we expect him to. I'm bringing Thorganaz out on for him. Isaac on the ball now. Find Julian Brandt. Brandt hasn't scored in a long time and won't be scoring here either. Okay, Isaac on the ball. Sane can go through here. Leroy Sane, we need the Sane of the past. Skips past that challenge. Sane, 1v1 against the goalkeeper. And one back. Come on, guys. Great, great work from Sane, man. Skipping past that challenge. Surely that would have been a red card. But I'll take the goal. 2-1. Two more goals. Last 20 minutes. This game is begging for a comeback. 
Oh my god, a kanji has been done there. That's one for the highlight books. Uh, great recovery there from Dahoud. His time to shine. He hasn't played a lot, but this could be a meaningful contribution. Brandt on the ball now. Finds Sogan Hazard. Hazard turns well, takes a finesse shot. One more left, guys. One goal, last 10 minutes. Great move yet again from our side. Really don't like the fact that we are cutting it this close. 10 minutes left. We still can get at least one or maybe even two. I'll be happy with even one goal. Great work from Hazard to convert this. 2-2. Two, two. 81 minutes have been played. Delaney on the ball. Looking for Brand there. Ah, come on. That, that should have been a much better ball. Okay, Delaney this time successfully finds Brand And Brand finds Haaland. What is happening, man? We're gonna bottle this, aren't we? Thorgan Hazard wins the ball back here. Now Brand, we need to make defense into attack in no time. Two minutes left. Come on, Delaney. Haaland is making a good run here. He finds Oring Braut Haaland. Come on, Isaac, get back into a position. What has happened here? No way, no way, no way. Come on, come on, get us one more chance. Thomas Delaney now. Still Delaney keeping possession here. Finds Isaac. Alexander Isaac. We have bottled this chance. We have absolutely bottled the league, guys. I'm sorry, but this, I have nothing to say. I really don't have any explanation for what has happened in this game. What did we do in the end? I can't believe... Guys, you saw that through ball, man. EA Sports have robbed us. They, I mean, this game was so scripted. I really don't even want to talk about it, man. This has just ruined my mood and the day, man. We started off so well by beating Bayern Munich. Positive vibes and now EA goes ahead and does this. Fuming doesn't even begin to explain what I'm feeling right now. I don't even want to look at the Bundesliga table for a minute. We need to focus on our next game, which is the semi-finals of the DFB Pokal against FC Cone. I really... Guys, you saw it, man. A pass deflected and they got a chance there. Two posts. Piatic with an unreal finish. And that pass from Haaland at the end. I really have nothing else to say. Let's get that out of our minds. Bundesliga is probably now way out of our reach. We have to focus on the cup competition that we are in. Semi-finals. FC Cone. Here we come. I'm going to be simulating this one, I really, really can't play, man. The last game just has left me in an unplayable state. I don't know why, but I really don't want to risk it. I have rested a few of my players in the last game, so yeah, they are fit for this one, which is why our second team is mixed with a few first team players. Obviously, the players that I've played throughout this competition, like Reyna, Bakir, all will be starting, but a few of our first team players will be also. Maximiano in goal, Baleri, Soyuncu and Zagadu are back 3. Torreira was rested in the last game so he starts alongside Witzel as our CDMs. Bakir and Thorgan Hazard out wide, Reyna in that cam role and Royce and Richarlison up top. Really, really need a positive result here. Let's go ahead and simulate this one. I'll take it man 2-1 even though we got the win in the 80th minute. I'll take it. A dub is a dub. We didn't get it in the last match but we do in this one and we are in the finals of the DFE Pokal. I should be happier. But you know what happened. So, yep, 2 1. I'm actually really happy. We are into the finals of the DFB Pokal. Okay, so we've gotten some prize money for reaching the finals of the DFB Pokal. We've gotten a monthly scouting report, but Mori has been loaned out. Let's now actually go ahead and, you know, take a look at the players Thomas Wesk has found for us this time. Hopefully, some good new talents. Obviously, Niels Grun. We should, you know, start removing these players, but I don't have the time to waste. Do we have some good players this time out? Oh, wow. Sasha Weiss's potential has actually increased 70 to 94 now. And he's the last player on this list and I'll take it, man. One more month and if he can keep this rating, y'all know where he's heading to. It is now time for our last game of this episode. Dusseled off away from home as y'all can see right here, guys. 30 games played, 74 points for us, 79 for Bayern Munich, 5 point gap. It, it really isn't going to happen and Dusseldorf are in the 17th position. Now the simulation match and I honestly can't be asked right now to play this game. I guess I'm looking for an ego boost here because I'm using my first team. I really really want to thumb Dusseldorf. Berkey starts in goal. Akanji, Hamels and Romagnoli are back three. Torreira returns to the first team alongside Delaney makes up the CDM spot. Sani and Hakimi out wide. Royce in that cam role and Richarlison and Erling Braut Haaland up top. Let's go ahead and destroy Dusseldorf. That's what I like man, another brace for Erling Braut Haaland, Richarlison also getting a goal, another clean sheet, another 3-0 win, a really good way to end this episode, I'll take it man, hopefully, I don't know, fingers crossed man, hopefully Bayern Munich have dropped points.
Before taking a look at the reality, let's first take a look at the players that should be up for contention for the player of the episode award. Obviously, we're gonna start off with this man right here. Haaland getting a brace in two of the simulated matches and well, getting a lot of assists here and there. Richarlison getting a brace against Bayern Munich, so yeah. Equally important for us throughout this episode, they both are worthy player of the episode candidates. So yep, hit that like button guys in front of the player's name who you thought was your player of the episode. Richarlison or Haaland, hit that like button right now. And now, let's take a look at the table. Moment of truth guys, I mean we shouldn't lose hope right now. Three games are still left in the season but let's see, have Bayern Munich dropped points or not? They haven't. Still a 5 point gap, 3 games remaining, odds are in their favour evidently. Fingers crossed guys, we have to hope that's all we can do at this stage, we have to keep faith. As you all could probably tell, the Borussia Dortmund Karim series is coming to an end. This was our penultimate episode. In the next episode, we've got a few Bundesliga matches. We end with the cup game and obviously we'll end with the squad report also. So we'll see whether we're going to be doing the double or whether we're going to end up trophy less. You don't want to miss that episode. That is it for today's episode guys. If you all enjoyed this one, smash that like button. Do not forget to share and subscribe and obviously leave your comments and suggestions and feedback down in the comment section below. Let me know what should we be doing after this series. Should we do a season 2 with Borussia Dortmund? Should we do another series with another club? We are obviously going to be doing a national team series. So tune in for that one too. But that's it for now. Hit that bell icon if you haven't already so that you all know whenever I upload the next episode.